When you think self-care, what comes to mind? For most people, it's a glass of wine after a hard day of work, it's a bubble bath, maybe getting your nails done, or a massage. I want to talk today about living a lifestyle of self-care, where it's not something we do for ourselves once in a while, but where self-care is just what we do and it's how we live every day. And today I want to give you four ways to practice self-care as part of your everyday lifestyle. The first way to practice self-care on a daily basis is by nurturing yourself with the right thoughts. We think 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. And we know that our thoughts are so powerful. They impact our emotions. They impact how we're showing up in the world. They impact the results that we're creating. Nurturing yourself with positive self-talk, with the right words, is a practice of self-care and self-love. The second way to practice self-care on a daily basis where it's part of your lifestyle is nurturing yourself with the right people. When we surround ourselves with people who are toxic, who are negative, it impacts our well-being and how we feel about ourselves, how we show up in the world. What would it look like to nurture yourself and surround yourself with people who are uplifting, who are positive, who are supportive? So nurture yourself with the right thoughts. Nurture yourself with the right people. The third thing that we can do is nurture ourselves with the right food and movement. I don't have to talk to you about how important feeding our bodies with nutritious food is, but if you just think about self-love and self-care, when you take care of your body, your body will take care of you. So making it part of your lifestyle where you're honoring this body, this vessel that was here the day you were born and will carry you through your entire life. And what would it look like to treat that vessel, treat your body with respect and care by eating nutritious food and by moving your body on a regular basis? And when we do that, it is absolutely a practice of self-care. Number four is nurturing yourself with the right environment. When you think about your physical environment, Does it feel like one that honors you? Is it chaotic and there's lots of clutter and you don't feel really safe or comfortable in it? If your environment doesn't feel nurturing, again, it's going to impact your thoughts. It's going to impact how you feel. So practicing self-care means taking care of your physical environment, creating spaces where you've got artwork that you love, where you create order. Think about ways that you can up-level your physical environment so it feels more nurturing. Maybe with the lighting or the artwork. Maybe with some essential oils and and the pretty smells that you love in that. It creates this lifestyle of self-care. So nurturing yourself with the right thoughts, noticing when you look in the mirror, there's an inner dialogue that occurs. What would it look like to flip that to be more of a loving conversation? There's been a few times in my life where I've had to remove toxic people from my life. And I just noticed that when I hung out with them and I spent time with them afterwards, I felt exhausted or drained or I was stewing about things that they said. And I realized that spending time with those types of people was draining my energy. And so it really was a courageous step to remove those people from my life and then fill that with people who were more uplifting, supportive. So where in your life could you consider creating more time with the right people in your life as an act of self-care? I remember when I first started my business and I had never intended to work from home. And so we didn't really have an office space available. And so we, in the spare bedroom in our basement, we squeezed a desk into that space. And so I was working in the corner and I was cramped up and, 
and it didn't feel very life-giving. And I was running my business and working from that space, doing what I could with what I had. And one day I remember just thinking, this is not nurturing my vision. I want to create a work environment that's more in alignment with the business that I want to create and the impact that I want to have. And by making that decision to truly transform that spare bedroom into my office, take out the bed, take out the dresser, and decorate that environment in a way that felt more life-giving, it was an act of not only self-care, but it really created this different energy and momentum in my business. So where you think about your physical environment, where could you create maybe some small changes that could impact you significantly? Nurturing yourself with the right food and movement. One of the ways to do that is when you're, you're noticing yourself making food choices is just to say, by making this choice, is this an act of self-care? And as you choose with that question in mind, it will help you make decisions that are more loving and kind to yourself. Self-care is so important. And I believe it's, you know, yes, a bubble bath is wonderful and going for a massage is great. But what would it look like to really create a lifestyle of self-care where it's not something you do for yourself once in a while, but it's just this loving relationship with yourself every day, all the time. I would encourage you to take one of these four and put it into practice this week. Nurture yourself with the right thoughts, with the right people, with the right environment, and with food and movement. Here is to you living a life you love.